Mr. Ambassador, could you explain what you're doing here in Almedalen in Sweden? Uh, good afternoon. It's my first time when I come here together with my team to Almedalen, Political Week. It's an absolutely important, fantastic event, full of political discussions. And in this sense, uh, as long as Ukraine is top priority for Swedish government and we enjoy full support and solidarity here, my mission here is to continue with our discussions to discuss what we need most of all at this point of time, what we will need tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and to build up, to build on your support and your solidarity with Ukraine. What kind of role do you think businesses could play in supporting your cause? Business will be playing instrumental role. It is playing now by supporting Ukraine, by generous donations, by participating in different kinds of volunteer initiatives. But when it comes to post-war reconstruction and recovery effort, definitely we will not be able to rely solely on state capital. We should attract private business. In this sense, the private business will play a very, very important role. If the two of us will be standing here in a year from now, what do you think the situation in Ukraine will look like then? I'm not Cassandra to make any kind of predictions, but I really wish we could discuss very good and very detailed manner what projects we can start when it comes to business in Ukraine, in many regions. I hope in all Ukraine, be it Crimea, be it Kherson, or be it Donbass. And I wish I could bring more people from the embassy, from Ukraine, so that we have this in-depth discussion what investments, how we should proceed, and what should be done next. So we we'll, should be talking about post-war reconstruction. But before this happens, we need more assistance, we need more solidarity, more unity, to make Russians withdraw from the territory of Ukraine. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really honored and pleased to participate at today's panel discussion.